It's been a physical start to space camp. I think it's time for these eight to use their brains. All right, what you guys are going to be doing is constructing a rocket under a budget that launches an astronaut. I get it, egg. OK, so basically, the space cadets need to build this. Well, just a lot smaller. But just like the Saturn V, the model rockets should have a nose cone, a payload, a long body containing parachute and an engine, and they'll need to fly at least three meters high. And the astronaut needs to make it back safely. I know for a fact it only has to go three meters high to pass, but who wants that? You want to go as high as you can to the sky. Bigger risk, bigger engine, more fun. The cadets have been split into two teams. Daniela, Asia, Jack, and Sinead are up against Connor, AJ, Finton, and Aoife. Perfect. Let's get started. I have a question. Oh, yes. Uh, if you, like, use different stages, like two stages instead of one, do you get more points? Ooh, that's a clever question. A two-stage rocket has an extra engine and should go higher. You do get extra points, but they're harder to build. You have a potential to get 50 more points, but you also have the potential to lose Ooh, yeah, it's not more right. points. It's not all right. A two-stage rocket would definitely be more impressive. It's just that a one-stage rocket is a lot less risky. And for only 50 more points, I don't think it's worth the risk. The two teams get straight down to designing their rockets. And there are decisions to be made about everything, from the shape of the nose cone to the size of the engine. And they've got to stick to a budget. Yeah. Um, where's the budget thing? I want to look at that. So 5,000 is their budget. We're going for the biggest, most powerful rocket, the biggest, most powerful engine, and the medium tube. We're aiming for pure power. If we can get like an extra piece of cardboard in here, yeah. right, and put one piece of cotton wool stretched out around here, it'll sit in there like a nest. Like a nest, yeah. An extra piece of cardboard here, tight, then put this around here like that, glue it all together. Yeah. So that if he wants to see the egg, he can just basically just cut it out because nothing actually and sticking to it. Yeah, the nose cone on top. Exactly. I'd say we only need one cup. What if we made like a little coat for the egg out of packing peanuts? <laughs> the number one aim of every mission is to get your astronauts back to Earth safely. So it's good to see both teams focusing on extreme safety in their capsule design. So, well, <laughs> There's a few questionable ideas out there, but I'm trying to like guide them on the right path. Uh, they're looking pretty good, though. I like the communication that's going on between the team and the ideas that they're coming up with. It was a really smart idea to like wrap the packing peanuts around the egg to protect it, it and co like to cushion it from like any impact. So like that was a really good idea from Asia. Will we do packing peanuts first to make more space? Or yeah, yeah. Quite and then combos on top. Yeah. Because we want it snug like. Very snug. Snug as bug in a rug like. What? They're actually good. Their cup is really nice. They were like. See, they're all, see, they're all actually done right. They've used so much money in the soil from. I think they're already worried about our payload capsule. Our egg is going to be wrapped up in these little foam packing peanuts. I could hear Connor say that we're doing it right, so I think they're already worried. What about this one? This corner, or this uh, any, like, I hear this is class. I think they're getting on a little bit better on their team because it's a much simpler design. We decided to go with the two-stage rocket, so it's a lot more effort, uh, a lot more stress, but hopefully it's going to be all worth it when we build and test our rockets later on in the week.